This is my kitchen and although it looks super organized and like it has so much storage on the outside, as we all know, looks can be deceiving. I love my bin drawer but it does take up an entire cupboard and my under sink cupboard is very hindered by all of these pipes. I don't know who designed this kitchen, but these narrow cupboards are all but useless and they are the same width down below as they are up above. This cupboard hides some secrets, which I wish I could tell you was more storage, but sadly more narrow cupboards and half of it unusable. I do have this amazing, beautiful, wide pantry, which I absolutely love, but unfortunately, because of the lack of space elsewhere in my kitchen, this guy has got to do double duty. Today is a new day because yesterday I got sick and I had to leave everything where it was. So it happens guys, it happens to the best of us and there's, you just, you just got to do what you got to do. So I just moved all of this over to the dining table, I made dinner, I moved it back over here and it's ready for me to start today. So if you have had this happen to you before or if it's happening to you today, I'm right here with you. But I did get some labels for some of the things in my pantry because guys, let me tell you, I have been playing a little game of salt or sugar roulette because both of them are in this container and I never know which one is which. So I bought some labels to put on these things. I'm gonna get this going. I cannot wait to get this finished today. I've got so much happening, but we're gonna get it done. It's gonna be so good. And now I will always know what is salt and what is sugar. If you are easily overwhelmed, you definitely do not have to pull every single item out like I am today. But because I need this cupboard to be super functional, I want to get everything out and make sure that the only things that are going to live here moving forward are the stuff I need to access on a daily basis. So I am just starting with our medicine box and making sure that anything we're not using on the regular is moving out of this space. I cannot even tell you how annoyed I would be by this green box in my pantry every time I opened it. So I am so glad to be changing it over to this white basket. And speaking of these baskets, if you are wondering why I use the same basket over and over again everywhere in my house, it's so that as things grow and change, it doesn't matter what's inside these baskets. I can mix and match them anywhere they need to go and that I don't have to worry about cool coordinating them because they're all the same. I'm going to be super honest, I am not a huge fan of having to decant items into other containers. So I'm really picky about the things I choose to do that with. And I usually only choose to do it with items that are related to baking or those everyday essentials that I know I'm always going to have in my cupboard and that stick around a little longer. When 
I am organizing a really deep cupboard, one of the things I try and think about all the time is how often am I going to have to access those items? So things that I'm really not needing on the everyday are fine to go at the back, those long-term storage items. And then those items that I am grabbing either daily or weekly, I want those nice and close up front. Normally, I would not store pots and pans underneath of my sink. I would leave this just for cleaning products, but because space is so precious in this kitchen, I'm willing to break some rules. I am just going through and making sure I'm getting rid of any of those cleaning products that I'm not using on the daily and moving them into my laundry. And also just because we recently moved, I had some excess, so it was the perfect time to declutter. As much as I loathe these narrow cupboards, they do fit my baking sheets and my loaf tin. So this is a really convenient place because they're right beside the oven. They also make a great spot for those lesser used cups that I don't use every day, but I still want to keep. A game changer for me is keeping all of our snacks in one central location and making sure it's at my kids level. That way, if they're packing a lunchbox or looking for a snack, this is something they can do independently. I am always totally down for a sneaky storage hack and this coffee and tea tray that I keep on my microwave has been working so well. It means that we, if we have guests that everything is right here at our fingertips. If anyone needs a tea or a coffee, everything they need is on this tray. It also hides away and gives me more space in the pantry. Another space that is working so well is this drawer where I keep all of our plates, cups and bowls that we use on the daily. Now I have things better organized, I'm ready to put them back into the cupboard and my top priority is making sure that those things that my family are using all the time are down on their level and easy to get and things like the medicine box and other things that I don't use all the time are kept up top. If you are a visual organizer and these white boxes would do your head in, you can actually use this exact same organizing method with clear boxes so you'll be able to see exactly what's inside while still getting the maximum benefit of all of that space you get from using baskets. This cupboard above my fridge is actually super large, but unfortunately when you are barely five foot, it's really not something I want to be accessing all the time. So I am keeping some of those lesser used items as well as my Instapot, which I can just grab the handle and pull it down when I need it. I absolutely love how this has turned out and it is so much more user friendly. So if you are tackling a awkward space, I am right here with you. 